Well, it's going to be a battle of the culinary classics. MasterChef Singapore Season 3 starts this Sunday with a new batch of amateur cooks. Serving up a sample of what to expect from the latest season is one of the three resident judges, Bjorn Shen. Bjorn, welcome to the show. Um, you know, how surprised are you to be here in Season 3? Or, you know, did you always think, hey, this show's got legs? I think, uh, well, first of all, thank you for having me on. Uh, and to answer your question, um, when we did season one, we're like, okay, you know, it's going to be a real bonus if we get to do a season two. And hey, here we are at season three right now. None of us expected this, but we're all happy to be here. Here you are in season three. And, you know, the show has evolved over the past two seasons. What can we expect from number three? Mm, okay. Okay. Um, so I think we have to, uh, you know, manage our expectations a little bit here. It's the same show. It's a different season. Uh, the rules of the show have to stay the same from season to season because it is a franchise. You know, it's a global franchise. So we got rules to follow. Uh, the judges are the same. What's different every season would be the contestants and what the contestants bring to the show. So we've got a real fun pool of contestants this season. I'm not saying the ones from previous seasons weren't fun, but we've got especially <laughs> bright personalities this time around. Well, if you've got any personalities that stand out, please share it with us because they really do make the show, don't they? You've got quite an unusual mix. Students, food delivery riders, singers, models. Um, what are you looking out for as a judge? What What is the X factor that they need to have aside from being able to cook? I mean, you just said it, you know, you, you use the word X factor. So we're looking for someone that can go ahead and ambassadize the brand. But because the competition is very merit-based, what it means is that the people who get through to the next episode are always the people who cook the best, you know. Uh, there's no other politics there. It is purely based on merit. So you get to the next stage of the competition by cooking better than someone else. Um, and at the end of the day, hopefully we get the best cook who's got a great personality, who can be on TV, who can represent the brand globally. When you look at season one and, and here you are at season three, what, what has changed for you the most and uh, what are you most proud of? Wow, okay. Um, you know, uh, that's a great question because we judges go through personal growth as well. So from season one to season three, I think I'm really finding my own identity. Uh, none of us were, well, none of the three judges here were chosen because we could play a certain role that the network wanted. We were chosen because we were us. We were chosen because there was chemistry between the three of us. The three of us actually went through auditions ourselves, you know, uh, mm. with many other chefs. And we were chosen because the three of us had this good chemistry and a mm. good spread of experience within ourselves. And uh, as a judge from season one to season three, I think I'm a little bit more comfortable now giving tough criticism. Uh, I wasn't so comfortable. I always thought I had to be that smiley guy. I always, you know, I wasn't comfortable with myself breaking bad news to people. You know, in, in the first season, second season. Mm. But I think we've come to a point where we really want to find the best winner, the winner yeah. that deserves it the most, you know. And in order to do that, we got to, you know, show the tough love. And if that means, you know, criticizing something in a constructive way, yeah, yeah. we got to do that. You yeah. Know? And do you think that, you know, the season three will have a special resonance? post-pandemic, you know, among uh, a whole new set of potential audience uh, who have come out as lockdown cooks and lockdown bakers. <laughs> yes, in fact, uh, another, um, another great point. Uh, when we did season two, we were just, you know, uh, after the whole circuit breaker and all that. Uh, but ever since, between season two and season three, a lot of people have had more time at home cooking and baking and we're actually seeing that in the quality of contestants this time around, when they make something that they call their signature dish, their signature dishes are amazing. You know, uh, they've also, we've also had a lot of contestants who just uh, on the side run their own uh, you yeah. know, private home-based businesses as well. Mm -hmm. that, that's rather interesting to see. Yeah. Well, we so really, really... Well 
Look forward to what the season has to offer. Thank you so much uh, for speaking with us, Bjorn, and we'll be catching you and the rest of the cast Sunday, MasterChef season premieres this Sunday on Me Watch Channel 5 and MediaCorp Entertainment YouTube channel.